Hello everybody, SCP Slayer here, and welcome to My Pop Goes. Now, I figured I'd start here, because uh, I figured I'd give us a little bit of a premise as to what the hell this game even is. I know this game came out on Game Jaw a while ago, but this is the official release. It released, like, today on August 1st, and uh, of course you guys will be watching it, like, a day after, because uploads. <laughs> but yeah. So, the story, Pop Goes is an official Five Minutes of Race spin-off series with unique, with, with its own unique story. But the the English is failing me, <laughs> as I am trying to read this. Uh, the story is built from information presented in only Five Minutes of Race 1, 2, and 3, and is best enjoyed after experiencing those games first. Which, of course, pretty much everyone's fucking seen FNAF, FNAF's 1, 2, and 3. So, uh... Yeah, we're going... We're, of course, going to be playing this. Uh, it is also set in the same universe as Finders of Candies series by Emil Mako. Oh, I, did, I didn't know that they were in the same series. Oh. <laughs> I didn't realize they were in the same universe. Uh, My Pop Goes is a prologue to Pop Goes Arcade and Pop Goes Evergreen. All right. Thank you for the premise. Controls. Use air keys or WASD and the space bar or enter... To move and confirm selections. Uh, you can also use your mouse and left click. Uh, escape, shift, and right click can also be used uh, to go back to menus. Hold escape during gameplay to abort the current level and return to the toys menu. Oh. Okay. Warning, and as you're probably used to by now, this game contains some disturbing Im imagery. Okay, I'm used to a flashing lights warning in FNAF games. Disturbing imagery is concerning. <laughs> what what kind what kind of disturbing imagery are we talking here? Are we about to see murder? Okay, let's see. Uh, we have new game file credits settings. What what is file? Cutscenes, character bios, achievements. Oh, it's fucking. Okay. Okay. That makes a lot more sense. I was very confused on what the fuck you mean file. It's literally the data of the game. Alright, so it looks like an attic background. That's interesting. But yeah, let's go. My pop goes. New game. This looks, this looks like it's going to be rather cutesy, but you know how horror games are with cutesy atmospheres. Uh... Am I? Oh, I'm supposed to click? Okay. April 2023. Oh, well, we're, we're going back in time, apparently. <laughs> Could you go into the attic and fetch my old toolbox? It should be somewhere in the chest against the back wall. Alright. Uh, can I click anywhere else? Or do I just click here? Yeah, I can't click anywhere else. I wanted to see if we could uh, interact with any of the other objects. You maybe get some lore. All right, let's see. Ooh. And an experiment I did with one of my dad's printers. I'm surprised it's still intact. Wait, the mask? I think mom bought this for me ages ago. I still don't know. If it's official. That looks like a fucking, uh... Spin-off Chica right there. So we've got a toy Bonnie mask. A toy Chica. Or a toy plushy Chica. Anything else to interact with here other than... The obvious? My pop goes. Well, I shouldn't have interacted with that first. I thought that was something else. I thought the, I thought the little box was the thing. 15 years earlier... Oh, so we're just going back in time again. Okay. 15 years earlier is Bonnie. Is this the girl we're playing as? Happy birthday! They're 10. Dear Bonnie, happy birthday. First of all, I'm so sorry that I'm not able to be with you today. I've been up to my neck in work, but I not know you hate that excuse. I'm just hoping you'll forgive me. Once you open your present. 
Hope you have a great day. Take care of mom, and I'll hopefully see you next week. Dad. Okay, so she he missed his daughter's 10th birthday. <laughs> Who is the father of this child? Is it the person who's running uh, Pop Goes? Because if so, uh, why are you missing your child's birthday when you could just take her to your restaurant? What is this? What is this? My Pop Goes! Uh, when you first showed me your little Pop Goes character, it reminded me of my own ex excitement of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. And it's characters when I was around your age. Of course you'll never get to experience Freddy's like I did, and maybe that's a good thing. But a few months ago I wondered, what if Pop Goes could... Go could. So here's your present. A miniature Freddy Fazbear's Pizza with a twist. Oh. So, so wait, because this is this is in the FNAF universe, completely and canonically now. Um, we have an entire thing going on of this guy having experienced going to an actual Freddy Fazbear's and knowing of the murdered, the murders. So, there's already some hints of that in this little opening message. That's great. Instructions. Your Pop Goes has visited Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. I'm sorry. Br brain? Brain is having trouble... Let me reread that sentence to make sure I get everything correctly. Your Pop Goes has visited Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Yeah, just something about that sentence does not fucking connect brain-wise. That is exactly what it says, though. <laughs> He's thirsty, hungry, and bored. Hey. <laughs> He's thirsty, hungry, and bored. Hey. <laughs> he sounds like you. <laughs> Just fucking insulting your child. <laughs> Could you imagine the balls? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Just insult your child with their birthday present on their 10th birthday. <laughs> when you start the day of... When you start a day of My Pop Goes, you'll need to stop three meters from hitting zero. Uh, if you're... If they do, Pop Goes passes out, or maybe he dies. Up to your imagination. To keep him entertained, don't hold any buttons. He'll listen to Freddy's music. Don't hold any buttons. He'll listen to Freddy's music. Okay. Uh, to give him a drink, hold the left button. He'll use the vending machine. Alright, so I'm guessing that's... I'm guessing these are the WASD controls. I'm guessing. Uh, and to feed him pizza you've cooked, press the middle button. Each pizza fills up the bar about 30%. Alright. That's it. Three buttons. You can handle that. Enjoy the... Enjoy and happy birthday. I wonder if there's more we can do with Pop Goes and your other characters. Oh my god, did his daughter come up with Pop Goes? Is this the original person who thought up Pop Goes and the dad made it a reality? Is that what this is? That actually is very cool. Okay, ooh, what is this? Uh, guide for campaign game mode. Oh, that's just the fucking thing. We have campaign and games. As things. that we have, okay. Is there anything else I can click? <laughs> it's an actual Freddy Fazbear's Pizza thing. I love the concept of this being an actual thing in, the, in like, Freddy Fazbear's. Oh, what just happened? Are we going to pull the diary? That's a little slow. Okay, Pop Goes the Weasel. Name, Oliver Pop Goes Evergreen. Species, Least Weasel. It's a Least Weasel, okay. You're very specific in that. I how, This is a 10-year-old that knows what a Least Weasel is. That is a smart-ass 10-year-old. Age 21. 
Okay, so we have an actual age <laughs> for Pop Goes. Okay. <laughs> Sketches. Canon. <laughs> I love those. What? Why does this why does this need to be explicitly pointed out as canon? What? <laughs> Gender male, birthday 26th of June. Why are we getting the exact birthday for fucking pop goes? <laughs> Body color earthy brown? Who describes brown as earthy brown? Is there a ten year old right this? Is this is that what we're supposed to believe here? Special color green. Role, singer slash leader. Uh, likes, music, his friends, Apple's art. Dislikes, bullies, ghosts, the dark. Why is specifically ghosts written down? <laughs> Bio, after Freddy Fazbear's Pizza closed down, uh, Freddy gave Pop Goes his black hat so that Pop Goes could take over the role of singer at the new restaurant in England called the Pop Goes Pizza in England. Okay, so we're actually going to England with this one. So this is... So Pop Goes is the canonical English version of Freddy's. That's kind of interesting, actually. <laughs> Pop Goes is very friendly and positive, and he plays and performs with his friends in the restaurant and also in the local forests. Alright. Oh, and the rest of these are fucking locked. Alright. That's... That's very interesting. All right. Let's have a customize button. What does this do? Oh, we can put stickers. What? What are these? Cartridges? Oh, what? Campaign? Cannon? Non-cannon are the stickers. Okay. Toys. Non-can. There's other things that we can. What? Okay, what are these other two, then? I'm... Okay. Okay, that's actually really cool. There's a lot of things to this. Alright, I'm sorry. I haven't even touched the fucking gameplay. I'm sorry, everyone. I know, I've just been looking through menus. But there's a lot of things here. Excuse me. <laughs> We're going with campaign. Um, do I click it? Or... Oh. Okay. Um, day one. Survive until 6 p.m. Difficulty. Hunger, one. Thirst, one. Boredom, one. Alright, we have... How many days do we have? Okay, we have five. Uh, day five will unlock... Endless day. Challenge days. Two toy skins... One random sticker. Oh, hey, it actually says what they'll unlock. Day one will unlock. Day two, two random stickers. Okay, so the stickers are given out randomly, so that's how the whole continue playing thing works, because there's a lot of stickers. All right. That's interesting. There's a lot to this. Let's get this going. Okay, so let's just cook some pizza. Just fire up pizzas again. Get some more drinks. Okay, this is a lot of just like managing the timer. It's actually kind of cool though. Alright, that's actually very... This is actually very unique gameplay. And it's still a survive till like 6am. But it's survive till 6pm. Which is a very interesting twist on it. And it's very well done so far. Like, Jesus Christ, it's actually very... I'm already liking this, this is... It's simple, but for some reason I'm enjoying it. I don't know why I'm enjoying this. Why am I enjoying this? <laughs> this is... I love the little sprite, though. That is... <laughs> this actually... As someone who has played games exactly like this... That was the Max 5. 
I guess there's a max amount of pizzas? Okay. So, we just need to... We're already halfway. Alright, so, the second we... The second we hit five pizzas, we should just, like, stop, because that's... that's the max. We're already almost done with this day. Okay, this is a lot of just, like, resource management. <laughs> Which is a normal FNAF thing. But also, this one's got it in such a weird format that I actually kind of love it. And there we go. We have another pizza waiting for us to make. We, we're not passing out yet, or dying, or whatever the fuck happens when we fail. I, I refuse to fail on the first day. <laughs> So this is like a fucking Tamagotchi, and it's very cool. But it's one of those ones that was attempting to be 3D. Like, there are actual things like this in real life. Okay, so that wasn't too hard. You win. Alright, I got an achievement immediately. Piece of cake. Beat day one in campaign mode. Alright, alright. Now hold on, let's see, what, let's see what we unlocked. We unlocked... Oh, wait, we can place... We get to pick where they place? I thought they just place wherever. Okay, we've got this and this. Alright, and then we can remove if we want to. But I don't want to remove them. So, we can just customize the entire exterior of this. Alright, that's cool. That That's cool. Because you could actually do that on consoles like these. They were these little handheld things. They were so interesting. Okay, so we've got a feel for campaign mode. What is games? Games. Oh, wait, what? Uh, find the correct fish and catch it with your fishing line. Use the left and right buttons to position the hook, then the middle button to send it. Alright. Oh, this is an actual... Oh my god, this is actually, like, the fucking thing. Okay, we're looking for what fish? Oh, I see it. Yes! Gotcha! Okay, so this is this is a matching game. I get how this works. Oh, damn, I missed. What fish are we looking for? What fish is that? Oh, wait, I see it. Yes! Got you, bitch! Get out of my fishing line. No! I didn't want that one. I wanted the one below it. Oh my god, this one's actually kind of difficult. Yes! Gotcha, bitch. That one's that one was hard. Gotcha! Okay. Um, so we have to catch 20. No! I was just barely off. Aw, oh, damn. Failed. <laughs> I, liked, I liked the death sprite. <laughs> okay, we have games. We have fishing. Topping, ju topping juggle. Don't drop the ingredients. Okay. Uh, long, longest goose. <laughs> oh my god, is that the fucking worm game? I forget what it's called. It was a slither. No, it was snake. Don't hit anything. Uh, one pizza is one point. All right. Pest control. Press the button. Press the correct buttons. All right. Uh, whack a rabbit. <laughs> hit the rabbits to win. All right. Go back. Yeah, let's go back. Okay. So there's mini games. There's campaign mode. We're gonna we're gonna continue campaign mode now. Uh, two random stickers and day three will be unlocked once we beat this one. So apparently thirst and boredom are gonna be more difficult. Uh, so hunger is gonna stay the same. So we're just gonna fucking focus on. Okay, immediately gr get some pizza so we can focus more on the thirst and boredom. 
Okay, we need to get drink. We need to fucking get pizzas made. We need to not get bored as well. And not get thirsty. Dear God, this is actually going to be difficult, isn't it? Okay, come on, come on. Oh, this is going to get difficult. This is going to get difficult. Don't get bored, don't get bored. Which is a very weird sentence to say. But also, please don't get bored of this video, either. I don't know why this is actually fun. This is bringing back a sense of nostalgia. Because I am an early 2000s kid. So I had, like, games like this. I actually had a lot of games like this. I remember a lot of these. And there were ones that were 2D, and then there were ones that were trying to be, like, semi-3D. Because they were trying to bring this to a three-dimensional space, and this is exactly how the fuck they did it. And it's, it's surprising how accurate this is. To that. To that experience. I don't know how the hell you did this in a fucking 2D plane. Because I'm sure this was made in Click Team. Since Click Team is credited for this game. Oh god, I almost died of thirst. I am trying to figure out how they did this too much and not paying attention to what the fuck is in front of me. This is impressive, though. Thirst, 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 Jesus Christ. <laughs> thirst got way too close. Okay, boredom. Get up. Okay, let's just make one more pizza. And then eat, and then get drink. Keep bars filled. Keep bars filled. As time goes on, I'm gonna have to sacrifice bars. Also, I like how it's basically the, like, menu board for Freddy's that all of our stats are being shown on. We've almost got it beat. Come on. Come on, we can't die now. Yes! 6 p.m. Oh. Okay. Okay, we have unlocked... Oh, you're a natural. Beat day two of the campaign mode. Nice. Got another achievement. And some more stickers. Oh my, what the fuck is this? <laughs> oh, I both love and hate that. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that one. That's concerning, to say the least. Uh, have we unlocked any diary entries? No, no other diary entries yet? How do we unlock the other diary entries? Do I have to play the minigames? Maybe as we continue down the campaign? Because, hold on, let me... I'm not going to play the next day, because I... Two ran... No, no diary entry. Endless day, challenge days. And two toy skins and a random sticker. Alright, well... We've beaten these. We have the stars for them. Uh, but I am going to end this video here. Because uh, I am out of time. So I hope everyone has enjoyed. If you have joined the ranks of the SCP Foundation, don't forget to shoot the like button, slay those comments, and contain that subscribe button. Anyway guys, I'll see you in the next video, live stream, or later next. Peace guys!